Welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is going to be a pick a pile. So you are going to, um, how this works is you concentrate on a pile you want, either one, two, or three. You take the time to really meditate. You know, this is also an exercise to help you listen to your intuition. So you guys take a second to um, really pick which power you want, one, two, or three, whatever question you have, a yes or no question, this the power will be able to answer that question more than likely. If it does not resonate, it just doesn't resonate. That's just it just doesn't fit you. But it's okay. There'll be other readings that do. Okay? So you guys take a second to pick a power here. Wow. While, while I uh do my sound and go. Concentrate on which deck you want to choose here. Okay. I'm also going to do a charm for each deck. Okay, let's see. A charm for power one. What charm would be best for power one to do? Alright. Which charm would be best for power two? Okay. Which charm would be best for power two? Okay. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh, a sewing kit. Okay. I'm gonna go get my iPad real quick so I can look at the menu of these charms. Put the video of these charms. I'm still studying on, on my charms, y'all. Okay, one second here. Okay, let's get started. If you need to pause and take a second to really look further or to concentrate, more on which power you want, then you can stop the video to do that. But I have to proceed here. Okay, so we're gonna start with power one. Okay, for power one, we have, let me move power two and power three over here for a second. Okay, so for power one, we have the pentagon, or the pentagram, uh, which means the four elements, earth, fire, water, air. Yeah, fire, water, air, earth. So um, that's a symbolism of just kind of being grounded. You could be into Wicca, the work of Wicca. But um, that's kind of just working with all elements of the earth here. You have breeze, so you're feeling very grounded here. The gift of strength, you're very sanguine. And in a situation here, yeah, grounding, there it is. You feel very grounded. I didn't even see that card yet. Two of Swords, pay attention to the red flags, and lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. 
what I'm getting off um, just looking at your cards is I yeah you're breathing you're meditating you 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 feel fine you're going within here you're using the elements of the earth with this pentagram to really balance yourself you see how in these three cards this person's eyes is closed they're they're, they're not using external but internal um but internal influences to help to guide them in a situation here okay the re this you're really listening to your intuition power through you're really gr grounding yourself you could be going out in nature near water or say or something you're trying to figure out um what to do maybe about a situation so pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you yeah you're trying to listen to the signs regarding a relationship here or something that's going on there's something that could have came to you, um, some information that came to you out of nowhere. And you're trying to maybe uh, figure out how to how to take in that information. You're sitting on that. You're sitting on this information that you received. You're really meditating, going with it. You're trying to find the answer to this news that you received. Let's see what this news is. What is this? Shocking news. What is this that one is needed to meditate on, spirit guide? What is it that power one is needing to med meditate on and ground themselves for? What is this decision that that they're having to make, spirit? power one what is this decision that they're having to make this could be an omen the judgment card here you're feeling judged or you're having to make a judgment here a judgment call here about something it could even be about reconciling with someone but you're not sure if you should do that you're kind of closed off maybe because of a person's behaviors in the past yeah something's really making you think you're feeling really judged here yeah ace of swords the Empress could be dealing with a Libra here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else sounds out. The Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's put this over here. I'm only going to try to do about 10 minutes for each, each sign here. I mean, for each pile, okay? So, yeah, we have the Ace of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, you're really using your intuition. You're really going in or you want to speak a truth. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon... The Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. That's in reverse, and so did the Nine of Pentacles come out of reverse. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. I try not to take reversals, but if it's there, it's there. Okay. So I feel like in this situation here, that someone, okay, someone could be married here. Because the Empress could be a mother and everything, but so could the Queen of Pentacles. This could also be the same energy here. But the Empress could also be the mistress, okay, because she's the mistress of the Zodiac, okay. It seems like here... Somebody could be feeling stuck in a family situation here. You know, they could feel stuck to this queen of pentacles person, but they really want to be with this other person, this empress, okay, this Libra. Because you could be stuck. You could, first of all, you could be dealing with a Libra here or a Pisces or an earth sign, Capricorn, um, Taurus, I mean Capricorn, yeah, Taurus Virgo. But it seems like somebody doesn't have the confidence here to move forward to someone that makes them happy. It's just like someone makes another person happy, but they're hiding those emotions. They're, 
They're keeping that in because they feel stuck to a situation here. They're not sure that they can get out of, is what I'm hearing. They're really trying to go in and make a decision here, maybe between two people, okay? And this person is really in their head about it with the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords. They're really happy with one situation, but they feel like they can't be fully happy because they feel like they're, I don't know. What's the Ace of Swords and the Empress? Ace of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, page of wands, something new here. Communication with this empress person. Yep, something new, just like I said, in the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants something new with this Libra in here. Yeah, the magician, they're manifesting this person. They want to take action toward this person. Yep, with the, with the Knight of Swords behind there, the Six of Pentacles, the Judgment. They want to date this person. They want to give to this person. They could have breadcrumbed this person in the past. But, you know, yeah, they, they see this person as their happiness, okay? They want to go toward this person. They want to fight with this person. They're holding on to this person, okay? But they're stuck in a marriage. And they're trying to decide on what to do here. Who's, what's the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords? Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords. That's over. They want to end this marriage that they feel stuck in. Or end it. Somebody was hiding a marriage here with the moon card. Okay, yeah, Five of Wands. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of back and forth here. Yeah. It was a third-party situation with this Three of Cups here. Somebody was not... Um, let me see. This was Pile 2 and Pile 3. Okay. Yeah, somebody's very... Yeah. Yeah, somebody wants to move on and drop the burden of this marriage or this commitment and move forward with their lives. Okay, they're trying to make a decision. They're trying to go within and listen to their intuition about what is best. The moon also rep represents intuition, not just secrets and lies. So although somebody could have been lying, okay, because this is a third-party situation with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles here in the Three of Cups. Yes, somebody wants to move towards something new, something that they feel a lot of love in. They don't feel like this the relationship they're in is stable anymore with the the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, they, they don't they don't have confidence that they can really be happy either with this new person. Because of so much that's happened with this other person, they just feel like and they also could feel bad with that nine of swords I saw about leaving the situation here, but somebody's probably gaining an epiphany that they need to move forward here. Whether they want to or not, they just need to move forward because this, this relationship here, this marriage is very toxic. Even though the devil didn't come out, there was fighting, there was an ending here. Okay? It could have been friends and family in this connection. That's the reason why with this Ten of Pentacles, friends and family or just family, everybody in their opinions and everything. So it was just one situation is just too difficult. It's also over with that Ten of Swords. It was betrayal and lies, backstabbing, and somebody is just over it. Okay? So that's for power one. If your intuition is telling you to move towards someone else, someone new, because you're not happy in a home situation, then do that. I do see a lot of texts in between two people secretly. You know what I'm saying? I do see a lot of happiness between two people. But everything that glitters, you know, ultimately is in gold. So be careful with that too. So um, that's for power one. Okay. Let's move on to power two, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right, y'all. Let's move forward, man. 
Okay, so this is going to be, uh, this is pile two. Yeah. This is pile two. So for pile two, we have the deer totem. The deer totem, um, the, the, deer, the deer totem represents gentleness, ability to move through life and obstacles with grace, um, being in touch with inner child and innocence, being sensitive and intuitive, being vigilant, being sensitive and intuitive, vigilance, ability to change directions quickly, magical ability to regenerate, being in touch with life's mysteries. So that is the deer totem. Okay. So you're you're able to bring gentleness and grace to situations at this time, pal. Too. Okay. Let's see what's going on. It says come to the edge. Yeah. Okay, and then we have healing connection here. And then we have cycles. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Okay, then we have the world. And then we have hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistence, working on it. So, with the cycles card and the the ham, I feel like somebody, somebody, um, somebody may want to heal the situation and work on it here. They may want to, yeah, healing connection here. They want forgiveness. Somebody may want forgiveness for a situation that they could have sabotaged in the past. They want to rebuild things from the ground up. You know, but this may be a cycle that you two go through a lot, you and this person. But they're here. The world is here. It's an, end, an ending happened here. Or somebody could want a new cycle with you. Yeah, with the cycles card. They want to begin again here. They kind of want to work on things. You know, they want to be more gentle to the situation, more understanding. They're going to handle things with more grace. I'm hearing be more respectful. Okay. Somebody really wants to work on bringing the connection back together. Because this is a very healing connection. Or they could just want to heal a connection here. They really do. They want to take a leap of faith with come to the edge. I see somebody or somebody could want to heal a situation with somebody else. Rebuild it, but they're still looking back at another situation here. If somebody really wants forgiveness for something here. They really want to heal the situation. They want, they want to rebuild it. So what messages do we have? What can you? What clarification can you give us for power two? What clarification can you give us for power two, please? Yeah, somebody's willing to bring something back. So for um, power one, I'm sorry, if you had a question, a yes or no question, I would say the answer is... Um, if it was about moving on from a situation, whether you should move on, my answer would be yes, you should. If you should get back with a person from your past that you fight with or that you're in a marriage with, uh, um, no. Because it's just, I feel like it's going to continue to be arguing. Plus, somebody's already texting and involved with someone else. So, you know, that's only going to bring even more issues to the, to the relationship. Okay, messages for power too. Okay, nine of swords is at the bottom. Yes, somebody, this nine of swords is coming out a lot. Okay, let's see what it is. Yeah, the tower at the bottom. Let's see what this is. Okay, we have here the king of cups. We have the devil. We have the ten of swords. We have the world. We have the four wands, we have the moon, we have the seven of swords, wow, the ace of wands, and the five of wands, yep. With the tower. So what I'm feeling um, in this particular situation, pile two, Somebody wants forgiveness for being toxic, okay? 
could be dealing with a um, Capricorn here or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be dealing with the Pisces too. But somebody here, um, let's see. Somebody here was lying, keeping secrets, lying very much so. The moon and the seven of swords, the ten of swords. Yeah, there was a betrayal here. There was lies. There was toxicity here. Okay, and somebody put an end to that shit. They walked away from it. It could have been in a home situation here. They walked away from this. There could have been a lot of arguing and fighting, a lot of competition. Somebody wants to rebuild a situation that they brought a lot of toxicity to, had a lot of secrecy in, was lying. Somebody could have been lying about a whole family here with this four of wands. Okay? Yeah, somebody was lying and the truth came out with the tower here that somebody else had possibly a family. Somebody has maybe drinking problems as well. Somebody drinks a lot. Okay? Somebody likes to um, create competitive situations here. What's the um what's the King of Cups, the Devil, and the Ten of Swords? King of Cups, Devil, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Empress. Hold on. One more. The Empress and what else? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody could have been talking to a, a Libra online or texting back and forth with the Libra. And it sounds like you're dealing with power one, power two. Okay. Yeah, a lot of texting and talking with the Ten of Wands that fell out too. A lot of going back and forth with the person here. Okay. Okay. What's the moon and the seven of swords? What's the moon and the seven of swords? The seven of cups. Somebody calls it confusion, lying, not telling the whole truth. What's the seven of swords and the moon with the seven of cups? Yeah, the higher front. Yeah, lying about a marriage here. Keeping you in the dark about it, confusing you about it. Yeah, they weren't truthful at all. But what's the Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands? Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands. Yeah, we have the world here twice. So somebody definitely wants a second. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's somebody online that this person is uh, competing for. This person gets a lot of attention with that Five of Wands here. Yeah, King of Pentacles, or well, somebody's in a marriage here. All right, somebody's in a marriage with the higher font and the four of wands here. Okay, could be a very toxic marriage or a long term connection here. They had someone on the side that they were talking to online or watching a lot online with the three of wands and eight of wands with this page of swords. Okay. And they've been lying about it. Lots of secrets and lies in this marriage. Lots of toxicity and unhappiness. But somebody really has their eye on somebody um, else that they were dealing with. And they kind of want to move things forward with that person. What's the world card? What's the world card? Since it came out twice. What's the world card? Yeah, the three of pentacles. Yeah, a third party situation here. The world card. Definitely a third party situation here. And this King of Swords. And somebody found out about it. Yeah, the magician. Somebody was being manipulative. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was being manipulative. It could be somebody. Could be somebody at work or somebody could be watching somebody while at work or they could have met somebody at work but this is a definitely a third party situation somebody's wanting to rebuild with someone that something ended with 
They want to be, rebuild that connection here. They want forgiveness. Okay, in that situation here. But it's not with with the with possibly the person at home. This could be an outside person that they're wanting to deal with. Yeah, three of wands, somebody that lives at a distance from them that they watch. There's something new. They're highly attracted to as well with the ace of wands. Yeah. So I would say just be aware of how to. If your answer is, if you had a yes or no question, I would definitely say um, if it's like, you know, is this person cheated on me? Is this person, you know, in love with someone else or uh, want to be with somebody else? I would say, yeah, I mean, I didn't see any cups there. So it may just be an attraction, but somebody definitely has their eye on somebody else here. Okay, um, pal two. So look into that and see what's up with that. Because somebody's not being honest about how they truly feel. All right, now we're going on to power three. All right, power three. This is a sewing machine, it looks like. Comment down below and let me know what you think this is. I just bought these charms online because I like the charms and stuff and getting the meanings of them. But this looks like a sewing machine here. Okay, so let's see what that means. Okay, so it says the sewing machine could be a hint to you to be more frugal and to economize in your waking hours. On the other hand, it could be a symbol of your resilience during hardship and obstacles. Perhaps you need to be more self-sufficient as opposed to relying on others. Okay, so it's telling you to be strong, rely on yourself. Do not depend on anyone else here, Pile 3. Okay, let's see what's going on. We have here the Treasure Island card. We have the Gift of Freedom. We have Peace. We have the King of Wands. We have Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And we have coffin endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transformation. So I feel like you may be deciding to stand on your own, to stand in your power, to be strong, and let go of a situation where there's a lot of deception and lies going on here. You want to be at peace. You know your worth. You value yourself, treasure. You know that how val valuable you are to a person. And you're not about to allow someone to come in with deception and lies here. You know, it could be a third party situation because as you see, there's three people in this card. So somebody could be lying about something. The King of Wands, he's fine. He's a go-getter. He's an action taker. He doesn't take long to think about uh, the situation or to move on it. So somebody is quickly moving on their piece. They're ending something. It could be, it could be dealing with an um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Here. Yeah, somebody is ending something that is very, somebody could have been, you know, very sexy sexy and promiscuous with this King of Wands. Because the King of Wands can be faithful, though. But he's actually ordinary. He's fine. He gets a lot of attention. A lot of people want the King of Wands. He is a business owner. He just fine as shit. Okay? Sagittarius. It could have been some de deception going on around here. 
and there was an ending to it. Somebody's being resilient and strong and standing in their power with the sewing machine um, charm and not allowing somebody to come in thinking that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do, okay? Because that's not obviously the case here, okay? So Treasure in Ireland, yeah. You want to find somebody that's going, you want to be with somebody that's going to tre um, treasure you, not lie to you, you know? And if they choose to do that powerfully, you're going to walk away. You need honesty. You need to feel grounded. You need to be at peace in a relationship. You don't need to feel like there's lies and shit going on. Messages for power three, please, Spirit. What messages do you have for power three? What additional messages do you have for power three? Yeah, you don't want to feel like you're in a relationship with somebody that's lying or that, that can't be honest, you know? And it may have been hard for you to cut off this person, but you decided to because you knew that this, you know that this isn't good for you. But you're standing in your power and you're realizing your worth. Yeah, to a sword. You cut a situation out. Somebody was keeping you in dark. Somebody was not being honest here at all about a situation. We have the six of pentacles, the four swords, the high priestess in reverse, the chariot, the justice, the two of wands in reverse, the hierophant, the ace of wands again, and the nine of cups. Okay, and we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. The nine of cups could be in the ace of wands. That could be... Okay, so what I'm getting here is a higher fund than justice. So... I feel like, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, somebody is, wait, where is that, um, oh, I'll put it back in there. Yeah, somebody is, there could be, somebody could be wanting a divorce here with the justice and the hierophant, but they're not really saying that. They're really not taking action on that for some reason. Even though they don't want to be in the situation, they're breadcrumbing the situation. They don't want to be there, but they don't want, there's somebody new here with the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It could even be a lot of sex between these two people. Somebody's lying about that. Somebody lied about that, okay? You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Or a fire sign. I'm really picking up on fire. Even a Libra with the justice in the middle. But some kind of truth. If somebody was lying about something or, you know what I'm saying, not being honest about it, there's going to be, you're going to get justice for that. Somebody was not, you know, making a decision, you know, with the four of swords about what they want to do. The two of wands are reversed. The four of swords, you're just sitting there. You're not making a, a decision. You have two of swords at the bottom of the deck. It's just like you're stopping time. You won't make a, a decision, you won't move. But yet there's something here that you wanna move toward, but you're not doing it. You're not, you're wearing a false mask. Which, okay, let's clarify. Let's clarify. You wanna go towards somebody you feel a lot of peace with. You feel like they're amazing with that Treasure Island card. Okay, you wanna free yourself from a situation. Okay, but you, <clears throat> you're not being honest about that. You're not being honest maybe about the fact that you have your eye on someone else or something here. Okay, yeah. What's the six of pentacles for Kyle three? What's the six of pentacles? What's the six of pentacles, please? Yeah, six of cups. And the King of Cups at the bottom. So 
So somebody that you were dealing with in the past that was breadcrumbing you or something. What's the uh let's go from what's the four of swords? Yeah, somebody wants to give to someone from their past here, or they could be dating someone. Yeah, because the ace of wands, nine of cups, that could be dating. Yeah. The three of wands wanted to come out reverse. Yeah, it's like you're no longer waiting on a situation here. Yeah, somebody, yeah, the seven of pentacles, somebody's really waiting on something here. What the fuck are you waiting on? Yeah, holding back here. Yeah, you're not making, you're not wanting to make a decision towards someone new yet. It's like you're waiting to see what's going to happen in another situation or something like that, Power 3. What's the high priestess in reverse? You're not listening to your intuition here. You may know what you need to do, but you're not. The high priestess in reverse. Yeah, the judgment. The queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So, so there's somebody from your past that you're waiting on here. Chariot. What's the chariot? The chariot is the knight of wands. You want to travel toward, what's the justice, the five of cups? What's the two of swords in reverse? But, I mean, what's the two of wands in reverse? The two of wands in reverse. What is that? We have the eight of pentacles with the higher font we have the two of cups in the world so there there could be a breakup in the connection here or somebody could be wanting to let's see what's the ace of wands what is the ace of wands the five of swords and what's the nine of cups The Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. Somebody is looking toward some is really focused on someone from their past here. They could be di very disappointed and hurt, feel a lot of loss because they have to end one situation to go toward another. But with this five of swords here, I hate looking at this five of swords like how sneaky and manipulative and lying this person is. Ace of Wands. Somebody, be careful about somebody, you know, wanting to come back around from your past, really to maybe want to have sex here with you. Because I don't see a lot, I don't see any, well, I see the Two of Cups, you know, the higher font and the Two of Cups. They could want a commitment with you, or this could just be them being in a commitment. But somebody is walking away from the situation here to go toward some somebody they've been watching. Okay, this new love with the Ace of Cups, this Empress. They feel like there's a lot of love um, love and nourishment in this card. They want to offer this person something. Knight of Cups, um, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Okay. This new person, they're walking away from, somebody may be getting a divorce, leaving one situation and going toward another. They also may be doing it to get back at another person, so be careful with that, Pile 3. Yeah, there's deception going on here. Someone is wearing a false mask with the Five of Swords, okay? There could also be a lot of sex going on between two people secretly with this Ace of Wands, and nine, um, nine of Cups, and Ten of Wands. Somebody that they 
could be dealing with at work with this Eight of Pentacles. They're not quite making a decision or taking action on a situation because they're, they're still not completely out of another one. But somebody wants to move towards peace, somebody they feel more balanced with the Six of Pentacles. They feel like there's a lot of affection and love there. They feel like it's a deep connection. They want to commit with this person. Okay. But I feel like there is some motives behind it that are not so pure as well. Because I'm not seeing a lot of cups here. I'm seeing more wands than anything. So somebody wants sex with a person. They want to have sex with the person. But they're not sure. Because originally the two of cups wanted to come out reversed. With this higher font so, and this justice. So there could be a connection that is broken. Somebody's getting divorced or asking for it or moving on or something. And they want to go back to someone from their past with that judgment. But... I don't know if their, intent, their intentions is all that great, pal, uh, three. So leave some comments down below and let me know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Good luck with that. This was a pick a power reading. Make sure to like, hit that like button, please. I need y'all to hit the like button more. When you come watch my videos, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, you can leave your constructive criticism down in the um, comment section. Um, any information you need to know about me will be in the description box. And make sure to share this video as well. Hit that post notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.